We're live in East Milton Square in my car. I'm gonna review the plate. Highly, highly uh, recommended by the same person who recommended the number one ranked coffee. John, thank you, I'm gonna test it out in a second. But I wanna say, some of you were wondering why why well, trust me on the on the coffee reviews? I wasn't classically trained. The best analogy I can make is if you've seen Marvel's Daredevil, you know that the main character slash superhero is blind. And what that blindness does is it enhances his other senses. Those of you who know me know I'm deaf in one ear. And I think that deafness has translated to a heightened sense of taste. So I am a coffee... Daredevil. Ooh. Someone told me that the nitro is unfair. It's like steroids. Um, it's like cold brewing steroids. I'm a steroids guy. I don't take them, but... This is good. Um, it's on ice. The Starbucks Nitro had better flavor. This does have the ice, which Starbucks lacked. Really tough call. A little, a little bitterness. Let me say the inside of the place, gorgeous. Right above the fruit center. I'm a fruit center guy. Great produce. A little bitterness, but it's really good. Um, 8.6. We are in the 8. I think it's a shade under the Starbucks Nitro. I don't know. Should I not review Nitro? I don't know. That's two reviews for today. Two coffees. Riding high. See you later.